guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm vlogging because i am currently in budapest um and i thought it'd be fun to vlog so we've just arrived in our apartment i just wanted to show you guys our apartment because it is so cute it's um an airbnb so it was fairly cheap and the woman who owns this place is really nice so i'll just show you guys around so you first walk in and then this is like i guess the sitting area is a bit of a mess because we've literally just arrived and then you go hi say hi joe <laughs> And then you go through here. This is the kitchen area. It's a really small apartment, but it's we're only here for like four nights, so that would do. So this is the kitchen area. Everything is provided. Got stool. The bathroom is huge. It's got a walk-in shower, toilet, you know, the usuals. And the best part is when you walk up these stairs. Oh, oh crap! I nearly fell. <laughs> and then you have. The bedroom and it's like an upstairs um loft. loft room yeah loft room and this is our bed and the tv you can um can, like tilt it so you face the tv but face the bed so it's so cute like it's really a really small apartment but for us it would do um it's currently 10 past nine at night we got here um really late traveling to actual to the actual airbnb from the airport took a while because the metro was down and we had to get replacement bus in another metro line so that was a faff so now we're starving so we're gonna get dinner and yeah so we are currently at a restaurant near our apartment and the decor here is so crazy it's a really fancy restaurant like on the menu they've got veal duck salmon it's really cool First night in Budapest and we're going all out. I've got duck breast. Joe has Joe has his pork tenderloins and this restaurant is so posh. But it's so cheap like this. Duck breast you'd think it's quite expensive, but it's actually like only only three thousand and six hundred. Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> Look how cute my dessert is. Like I don't even know what it is, but it's so cute. And Joe, being classic Joe, has started to get duck pate and bread as usual. Because he's not a sweet person at all. Hi guys, welcome to day two of Budapest. Um, that was really cheesy. So today we are kind of walking around, getting our bearings. We got a bit lost this morning, trying to find a way to. I don't even know what, what we're trying to do. It's quite windy. So this is basically what a main road of Budapest looks like. Random tall buildings, lots of cars, buses. And yeah, we're just walking in a general direction and hoping we find something. Everything here is so cheap. Like we managed to get two pastries, no four pastries for 510 Forint. So it's good? Forint? So. Hungarian, whatever it's called. Which is basically like a pound and a bit. So that was really good. But yeah, everything's really cheap and affordable here. So we feel a bit rich. So we made it along to the river, I guess that's what it's called. Yes. We're on, I think we're about to cross around, uh, across the bridge, probably walk along that other side. They've got some really cool, I can't really see because it's quite dark, but like trying to get up there, up around there. But yeah, that was cool. Now we're just walking along the river, just seeing where anything is. I think we're going to Parliament. Wait, where are we going? Parliament building. I think, yeah, we think we're going to the Parliament building, which is in that general direction. No, that way. Oh, that. We're going somewhere. <laughs> There's a Guinness boat pub thing. No. So right now we are currently standing under a tree because it's decided to rain and there's a thunder and lightning storm. So that's good. And we're both wearing shorts. Like, we're literally both wearing shorts. So. <laughs> so we made it to the Parliament, House of Parliament, and it is absolutely 
chucking it down. So wet. There's Joe. <laughs> We're literally in shorts and it's the worst thing ever. So cool. Hi Joe. There's another section of Parliament. What's it called? House of Parliament? Yeah. Mm. I'm having to vlog with my phone because my camera, I don't want it to get wet. Look how cool it is. So we have made it out of the rain. We got absolutely drenched. Um, it was so bad. It was thundering, lightning, like it was really heavy rain. But now we're in an Italian restaurant. Waiting to have some pasta, we've got a bit of bread. I don't know what you're meant to do. Bang olive oil on it, why not? What, olive oil on bread? Nice. Is that what you're meant to do? I don't know. <laughs> um, food has arrived and it smells amazing. I've got carbonara, Joe has got some lasagna, is it nice? Mmm, yummy, garlic bread, obviously. Let's dig in. Look at all this rain. The weird thing is, it's like sunny over there. So the rain must just be passing, but we're stood, stood under some church doorway, I guess. So, hoping for it to pass. So, the weather is so confusing here. Like, now it's completely sunny. And we're nearly back at our apartment. So, I think we're just gonna go chill for a bit and dry off, to be honest. But look how sunny it is. Literal clear skies. So, uh, after coming back to the hotel, we've just been chilling. I think we're gonna go out in a bit because it's 5 p.m. So we're probably gonna walk around for a bit, find some lunch. But I just woke up from a nap. Um, my makeup looks pretty good considering I've been in the rain all day and I've just woken up from a nap and it doesn't look the worst, I guess. Obviously I'm gonna touch up before I go out, but yeah, it's just annoyingly the weather's meant to be bad all week so we might have to just deal with getting wet all the time might have to buy an umbrella and stuff like that so yeah this place is so posh we have a menu on tablets got barbecue grill so cool oh look how exciting this is got some meat the grill is going nice. got some rice we've even got uh, some more meat coming so yeah exciting joe's making a wrap let's have a look he just literally added a bit of everything taste it wrap no you meant to, like lose it in a wrap you don't shove it all in like that <laughs> um got some more meat got some prawns some more beef Honestly, this is so good. Is it good? Hello everyone! It is um, day three of... Day three? Yeah, day three Fresh. of Budapest. And we just had breakfast slash brunch. Because it's quite late. Um, now we're walking around. I think we're going to go to the castle. And then go to the spa. So yeah, fun day ahead. So we're going across the bridge now to... I don't know where we're going, but I'm palace. the palace. But I'm scared of bridges. I don't know why. I've, I've, it's like an anxious. It makes me. Notes. It makes me really anxious. But yeah, going across the bridge. So there's the river underneath us. But I'm not going anywhere near the railings because I'm scared. Oh, look at the guy trying to get the log. How do I zoom in? No. Log's bigger than his boat. Is that the tram you go? Uh, yeah. I don't think so. So, made it across the bridge. We're gonna go up there, hopefully. But I'm really lazy, so I don't know whether I could be bothered to go up there. So, we have made it to the palace. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's very high up. It's like all the way up there, so we're gonna have to get stairs. But you're on the other side of. We're on the Buddha side. And then the other side over the bridge is the pest. Pest. So, ah. there's escalators. Woo lazy. Being lazy today because I'm too lazy. I hate stairs. You can slightly see the House of Parliament from the palace. 
It's right there. How's the parliament? Da -da -da -da. Baby, he's actually not really good. <laughs> well, I don't know. What am I supposed to say? Yeah, it's pretty high. Blocked up the camera. <laughs> we made it to the top. I'm so out of breath. <sighs> no, you can see. I'm quite high up. Oh, this camera's shit. It's so blurry. <sighs> see the skylines. And then there's a tree blocking the view. <laughs> I think this is like the courtyard of the palace. Ooh, pretty. Such a nice day today as well. So we're in a this different but same part of the castle. I think it's all part. This is all part of the castle. No, it's not. Wait, what's this bit then? I guess this is a different part of the city, Castle but <laughs> but it looks cool. Like the buildings look really cute. And now we're walking towards the fisherman's. What's it called? Bastion. Fisherman's Bastion. We made it. It's that. Oh, Joe's just moved his head in the shot. There it is. Fisherman's Bastion thingy. Da -da. Look how cool the roofs look. That is so cool. Wow. Look at all these cool, what they call tiles, I guess. And then you got the extra bits around there. So cool. Wow. House of Parliament right there. Oh. oh, you got me. This place is really cool. Everyone's posing on the ledge of photos, and I'm too scared because I'm scared of falling off. <laughs> so you have a Starbucks right here in the middle of like a historical site. Oh, that's dark. It's only built in the 19th century or 20th century. 20th century, but still, it's very pretty. And then you have it. Stop. Whoa. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Is it high? You don't want to sit on the edge of that one. Okay, I'm scared. It's got a few stories. Oh, let's go. Do you want to go up there? Yeah. Look at those birds. No, I don't like birds. Good. Why is the feather so curly? Because it's meant to be fluffy. Oh, there's not very well too. I know you don't. People practicing their music. Joe's making me go up more steps and I'm knackered. Oh. 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 Where are we going? Can you see those dark clouds coming from over there? It's gonna absolutely piss it down. And hopefully we get to the spa in time before it rains. But look, even more steps. Oh my god. We made it to Oh my god, I'm so out of breath, I'm so unfit. Whatever this is, don't know who it is. It's pretty cool. Is it Jesus? Get a pretty good view of the city. Ooh. Clouds coming. Yeah, it's dark. I wonder who that is. He's holding a cross, so I'm not sure. We are now at one of the baths. It's called the Gallet Bath. Um, the indoor swimming pool is actually closed, but there's one outside, so hopefully we can go in that one. But I think it's about to rain, so hopefully I don't get too caught. Plus, I'm gonna, I am gonna—I don't know if I can vlog, because we're gonna get changing rooms. BRB. Get in then, I'm just vlogging. So we made it into one of the, what's it called, baths. There's, ooh, my toe, I just hit my toe. There's one of the baths. This is the outdoor pool. And there's loads of baths inside. This is one of the other baths. Pretty basic bath. This would have been the indoor pool. <laughs> this would have been the indoor pool. But I guess they're renovating it. 
too. Yeah, it would have been looked quite nice, but yeah, we can't go in it today. This is one of the other baths. Pretty cool. There's two. They're all different temperatures. It's pretty cool. I feel weird filming in here, so I'm gonna stop. Look at him. Such a bubble head. So we're at another restaurant, this time it's a sushi restaurant, and then it's a tablet menu again. This must be really posh. Must be a thing in uh, Budapest. I look like a mess right now, because my hair is literally still wet from the baths, but it was fun. Uh, I kind of wish the indoor swimming pool was um, work working in use, because we had to go outside, it was quite cold outside. Um, it was 5,900 which is, I guess, expensive. Um, and we pretty much went in all the different baths. It was quite busy because obviously the indoor swimming pool was closed and it was raining outside, so everybody pretty much came in. But yeah, it was pretty chill. I vlogged some of it on my phone because I didn't want to get my camera out and vlog people in the baths because that would have been a bit weird. <laughs> so hopefully with the footage on my phone is okay so you get to see some of the baths. But yeah, now it's raining outside again. Uh, we're back waiting for some sushi and Joe's always ignoring me. What did you think of the bus? Cool, good Which one did you prefer? Because you, you went to uh, Ruders? I prefer, prefer the one we went to today. Uh, was it Joe's, Joe went to Rud, Rud, Ruders? Ruders bath then. When he went, to, when he came to Budapest with his friends like three years ago. It's a bit more modern, but it's just like, I don't know, it's more jacuzzis. Steam room was a lot smaller. Oh my gosh, we went into the steam room and it was like I've never been in a steam room before. And I literally walked in, I was choking on smoke and I couldn't stop laughing. I don't know why, I just couldn't stop laughing. And I just kept inhaling more and more smoke. I just I thought I was gonna die, so I had to run out. And then we run into the ice bath because you're basically meant to go in. Are you meant to go in the ice bath first, then the sauna, like steam room? Nice. Basically, what we do is went into the ice baths first, then went into the ste steam room, and it really did help with the ice bath. Oh my god! Even though it's like apparently only 17 degrees, it was freezing. Um, yeah, it was fun, but now I'm a bit tired because we literally spent. I think it was good value for me because you could stay there as long as you want, and we stayed for over two hours, I think, just sitting in the saunas, chilling. And yeah, it was fun. Always got to show the food. I've got salmon teriyaki, miso soup, and Joe's got ramen. Ramen. Go on, eat it. Do a bit of a mukbang. Mm. <laughs> and then we've got some more sushi on the way. <laughs> sushi has finally arrived. Yeah, it's got some. What's this called? It's a dragon roll. We got dragon roll and uh, nigiri platter. <laughs> So it's breakfast time and we are having traditional Hungarian breakfast. It's got 11 o'clock. Huh? It's got 11 Yeah, I mean, we're having a really late breakfast because it's currently 11 minutes past 11 and we're only just having breakfast, so. I've got a burger. I know, we were going to get a burger at the moment. We were like, no, probably should. <laughs> this camera is so bad. It's so blurry all the time. So it's the last day of Budapest and it's raining again. So we don't know what we're doing today. Um, um, we just had breakfast and we also woke up to the terrible news of the boat sinking in, in the Dan, Dan, Danube, Danube um, river, which is like the uh, river that goes through Budapest. So we just woke up to that really sad news that people have died and stuff like that, so it's quite sad. Um, but yeah, hopefully they find all the missing people. So yeah, we're walking around aimlessly because we really don't know what to do today. The weather's really shit to walk around. So we'll see what happens. So we've just decided to come to um, a cat cafe. Um, just because we wanted to sit down, chill, have a few drinks. But I don't really see any cats around. Um, the decor is really cute here. So this is like one of the seating areas. So they've got all the little cat beds and the cat what are these called? Oh. play thingies I found a cat it's just chilling right there that is the cutest cat ever look at them so cute oh there's more cats 
see how big that cat is. I don't know whether he's just bunched up or what, but that is a big cat. Look at it. The big ginger cat has finally come out. Look how big it is. That's Joe's hand. Oh my god, that is the biggest cat I've ever seen in my life. It's huge. We've just come across this, uh, what would you call this? Bar? Pub. Pub area. Looks so cool. This is the weirdest pub ever. I was just talking to myself. <laughs> yeah, one sec. Yeah. I am. I am Oh, so they're going to perform something here. It's even got like a little beer garden. This is so cool. Ooh. So this place is really cute. It's like loads of different bars, uh, seating areas. It's really nicely designed. Joe's got his beer. But they don't do any Guinness. They ran out of Guinness, so Joe's not happy. But yeah, it's so cool. It's, it's basically like a food club, but for drinks. <laughs> but we've just come upstairs and it's discovered it's even bigger at the back. <gasps> Wow. I can't, I'm stuck. This is basically a mini, mini jungle. Oh my god, people are wow. It's so big in here. They do food here as well. So it's like a street club and a food uh, food and drinks club. So cool. The decor in this place is so cool. Wow. This is the place that we are at in case you want to come. It's really cool. They do food and drinks. And, oh, blurry. And they do like live music here. So it's a really cool place to come to. This room is so cool. Got little crazy TVs. I'm sat on one. Yeah, seats are actually old TVs. So that's cool. This place is so chill. They do live performances and you can just watch and have beer and food. She, and this girl is so good. She does like covers. I might get copyrighted for this, so let's just stop recording. Our lunch has arrived. We've got some cheeseburgers and sweet potato fries. Is it nice? Thanks. Yeah, we're still at the place where um, Schimpler, whatever it's called, <laughs> the ruined bars, or whatever it's called. It's such a nice place here. You can actually spend hours here because you can like drink, chill, listen to music, have food. Time for a mukbang. Mm. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so now we're waiting for dinner. We're having Thai food. We literally spent like two hours in Starbucks. Joe was reading a book. I was watching my Asian drama. There's a variety. We've got some prawns. Have a taste. First taste of the first bite. Is it hot? <laughs> okay, maybe not then. <laughs> So, mains of Kim, this is our mains soup curry. Although that looks like a dum yum rather than a Penang curry, but. <laughs> so, we are back at the apartment. After dinner, we had, um, went to a pub and had a drink, but didn't really do much because we were quite tired, uh, even though we didn't do much the day. Um, dinner was a bit boring. Like, it was the most basic Thai food. Even I could have probably cooked something better than that. <laughs> like, but, oh well. Food's food, you know. Um, but yeah, tomorrow we're going to the airport fairly early. We're waking up at 7am and we've got a taxi booked for 8am. So super early. So I'm not going to be vlogging anything else after this. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, uh, the vlog, even though we haven't really done much. But I just wanted the vlog to be, I just wanted the holiday to be really chill and eat lots of food because I just love eating. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
uh please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i shall see you in my next video bye